Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Franco, and I'm recording another Clash of Clans video here today. And um, this video is uh, about um, what I'm going to be prioritizing with my hero upgrades. But first, I thought I'd start out with a uh, replay here. Um, so this was in the recent war we had, and literally we were heavily outmatched because me and the number two guy, or actually I'm the number two, so me and the number one guy are both Town Hall 14s, and uh, this is number two versus number two, and it's a Town Hall 15, which looks to me like fully maxed out. So as you can imagine, they both got three stars on us, so um, our plan was just kind of to get uh, like two stars. I was gonna two star the number one and number two. <laughs> so the number one had more of a uh, anti three star base, so it was easy to get the town hall and the eagle artillery, which I did using the recall spell. But uh, here you can see I had to recall early because the healers were getting hit by the multi inferno, and uh, I didn't really know what to do. So I was like, I need to get this eagle out before I can e drag, uh, hopefully from like the right side and take the town hall. But um, it, you'll see what happens here in a minute. So the queen takes out the eagle artillery here, and I actually, on the number one base I attacked before this, I actually successfully got the two star, because like I said, it was a little bit easier with the anti three star base, which basically means they put the town hall more near the outside to bait people to try to get it. Um, so if they like waste troops and then hopefully don't get the three star, but anti two star base basically means like the town hall's right in the middle, and they're trying not to let you get a two star no matter what. So uh, here I had to pop the queen ability early because she was getting hit by the king and I happened to use the headhunters a little bit too early, I think they died there. Um, and you can see I have all four heroes up here. So the only thing is that the warden doesn't have his uh, his uh, electric owl. But uh, here's a strong push at the end. The warden's going in with the e-drags and I keep freezing up that town hall. The e-drags are approaching, but they get hit with the poison spell tower, which does massive damage. And then it's the Town Hall and I have this uh, Stone Slammer, the Royal Champion and the King, and it looks like it's going to be a successful 2-star. So the uh, Royal RC's ability pops and I get the 50%, and now I realize I didn't have any Clan Castle troops because I kind of felt confident going into this. And I was like, oh man, it's just down to the King. King's level 64, it gets 1, 2, and there's like... You can't even see the amount of health that was on the town hall. If the king was level 65, I guarantee that would have went down. So that was kind of just a that was a like disappointing turn that the war took. And then, as you can see, our number one guy because we swapped. I take one, two. He takes three, four. Our number one guy failed on number two, and then our number three couldn't get this guy. And that was about it. Nobody attacked this bottom guy, so I had to kick out the. Uh, this number 28 because he didn't even try uh but yeah so our clan how i run wars is if you don't do your attacks and you're new or if you just don't do your attacks and i don't know you in real life i kick you out and you can see i just say sorry man <laughs> that's like the name of the clan it's kind of funny i guess i never really talked about that in one of my videos but today's a big day because um we are yet to claim our uh clan games rewards but so if i claim book of everything i can't claim this rune of dark elixir or this rune of builder elixir and everything happened to finish at the perfect time today so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna collect my dark elixir from the clan castle here and it happens to come out perfect that i can upgrade the yak here um and then be down to near zero dark elixir and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this rune of dark elixir so this is how i use my runes i only ever use them if I already have one and I'm trying to claim another one. So now we can claim that Rune of Dark Elixir, but we have nothing to spend the Dark Elixir on because we just use it in the pet house. And uh, I only have my King upgrading and usually I have the Warden going constantly. But as you can see by the title of this video, it says the end of an era. And the era I'm talking about, if you have, I already don't see in my army camp space there is, if you look at my recent attacks, I've been constantly doing Queen Walk. I've been doing Queen Walk for, I think, like a year. Like, I've been doing Queen Walk forever, but I've finally been changing it up because I knew the inevitable is coming. I got to start upgrading the Queen at some point. So she's level 65, 
and max for town hall 13 is 75 and max for 14 is 80 i might just keep her going to 80. stop upgrading the king because he's about to be 65 he's a little 64 so max for town hall 12 is strong enough and i'll just keep doing queen and warden but it's the end of the era the end of the queen walk era so yeah i've been just playing with dragons and lightning so it's been working pretty well actually but yeah so here we go upgrading the queen which has not been done I think I maxed out the queen at Town Hall 11 when I was when she was level 50. And I don't think I maxed her out for Town Hall 12. She might have been like 62 or something. But yeah, it's been since I was at least Town Hall 12 that I've had this queen. Not, or since at least Town Hall 13 that I haven't upgraded this queen. But yeah, so that's... Oh, I forgot to spend my gold. Oh, no, that's not good. This is going to fill up. Ooh, I might have to use a builder potion or something because I don't want to fill up that gold. That's what happens when I try to record videos and um, do my upgrades at the same time. Yeah, I really got to use a Builder Potion because there's no way I don't fill up my gold. I mean, I know I don't have the Queen and everything, but uh, yeah. So there goes the Queen, and we're upgrading the Yak there. As you can see, my pets are kind of coming along too. So I'll assign the Warden to the Owl, and the Queen's down. But now I use the Unicorn on the Queen because I don't use Recall Spell anymore. So the Unicorn is going to be pretty important. I want to start prioritizing upgrading the Unicorn. Um... But yeah, I mean, that was one of the biggest steps. And then also, so I still can't claim the clan game rewards because I still need to get this rune of Builder Elixir. So actually, at the same time, this guy finished. I popped the Clock Tower Potion to speed him up because he just finished. And uh, let me remove some of these obstacles before I uh, use this rune of Builder Elixir. So I've been just kind of trying to prioritize upgrading this battle machine to level 35 because I think the bot battle copter is better. I think a level 15 battle copter is still better than a level 30 uh, battle machine. So I, I'm just keeping the battle copter alive and I'm just going to put the battle machine to level 35 and then I'll start upgrading the battle copter because then he's as good as it can get and I'm not like lacking a little bit. But I have 2 million elixir to spend here. So I think what I'm just going to do is upgrade some walls. So I don't have any level eight walls because usually what I do is I just put my sixes to sevens because six is the first level that you can use elixir to upgrade the walls because tier five you can't. So when I have to waste gold, I just put them to level six. And when I have to wait, waste elixir, I just put them from six to seven. So yeah, let's see if we can use all this. Yeah, it'll be pretty close to using all of it because yeah, we'll be about 100,000 off because each of them costs 400,000. So yeah, let's pop this... Um, Rune of Builder Elixir here, too. It's a huge spending spree episode. I usually don't really spend that much of an, in an episode. And it's going to take six days till like, I get the next builder. And this is going to take seven days. So I might actually upgrade a couple more things with... Oh, no, I have the lab opening in four days. But this costs 4.2. I think I'll actually have to upgrade a wall because I don't want my storages to fill up. Uh, let's upgrade, like, two walls. Because I think the... Uh, four days oh yeah and I, I still have to upgrade this guy yeah all right so let's uh, let's get this guy going wait let's double check make sure there's no obstacles so i don't miss any free gems here none that i see uh yeah and then we'll get this guy going to level 32 so that's a su su successful two runes being used and i know in the other episode i was talking about how i was struggling to get dark elixir but i forgot how much dark elixir you get in legends league um and i'm pretty close again the season ended and i didn't i wasn't above 5,000, so I didn't get any Legend League trophies. Um, yeah, previous Legend League tournament wasn't July. Yeah, it was August. Uh, yeah, and I didn't get any. I was like at 4,900 for still in Legend League, but it didn't give the rollover Legend uh, prestige that you get. So here, let's claim the clan game settings. I think obviously you got to claim the book of everything, which is this guy, because it's a book for everything. And then obviously the runes. The runes are so important because runes like just fill up the whole sword, especially when you prioritize the storage is being maxed. They're so helpful. In this tier here, I am not actually sure because the exclamation point means that I'm full in the storages. And I don't really like ever use super potions. That's what this is, right? Ah, whatever, fuck it. Let's just use a super potion. Uh, who should we super potion? Let's... So maybe for the next war, I want to start donating, I don't know, Ice Hounds? Is that is that a good idea? Yeah, we'll, we'll do Ice Hounds. I think those are pretty OP. Oh, did I just spend Dark Elixir for that? Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. Well, I guess we got to boost another troop. Um, Super Minions it is. Whoops. All right, so let's take the Super Potion. 
And oh, shovel over. I know research potion is good because it speeds up stuff, but I love the shovel of obstacles. Um, we'll take one of these because I guess I don't have it full, and we'll take a clock tower. And that's it. And then because we got the to four thousand here, we get to take a, another award. So this is where the difficult decision comes. Is I love the shovel of obstacles. I love being able to move around my trees and stuff. But the book of spells is also very valuable. It's just a book, um, and. The Book of Spells, even if we look in the uh, gem guy here, Book of Spells is 925, and sometimes they sell the Shovel of Obstacles for uh, 500 gems. So one time I think I saw it for like a 1,000 raid medals, which I bought it for 500 gems before, but they keep taking it out. So that's why I almost think the Shovel of Obstacles is more rare, because even I think in like the last episode I was looking, where is my lab? I can't even find my lab in this layout. Sometimes I, I thought I put it, yeah, I put everything down there. But I don't even know what spell I would use it on. There's really not many spells that I could use it for. I mean, the skeleton spell after this level, because it's only seven days. So I, I'm assuming the next one would be like at least 14 days. There's not too much more I can do with Book of Spells. Obviously, for Clan War Leagues, I'm not going to be buying the Hammer of Spells anymore or Hammer of Troops, because I, I have all the spells and troops that I need being upgraded, upgraded, and I'll start using the Hammer of Building. So honestly, I think I'm just gonna go with the shovel of obstacles. My my like yum yum brain loves the shovel of obstacles. And actually, let, let's use the shovel of obstacles. So there's only how many more days left? I guess two days left in the event. And I actually had a cake spawn right here where I wanted to, but it was one tile forward. So it was like it was like here, not back here. So I had to remove it. It was so disappointing. It was just so close. So I'm saving this guy with a shovel. Let's see how many shovels I have. I think I only have two. I was saving that guy. Oh, I have three. Whoa. I was saving this guy with a shovel because all of them are spawned on the outside area, except for this one. And I would just shovel him over here. And I'm waiting to see if another cake spawns. But it's kind of cool. I have all four in this corner here. Um, but I think I also have to move this cake anyway because I want to keep all the trees in a tight line like this. So let's grab the, yeah, this, grab this tree. One goes here, one goes here, there, there 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 and then you can see i actually have to move this one because one's gonna go there and one's gonna go there so yeah that obstacle has to move anyway um so i might actually just remove this guy and uh move this guy with the shovel um but i was gonna wait two days because maybe in this off chance one spawns right here anyway but um yeah i use the shovels to move these trees around and so one wouldn't fit here and then there so this tree is good so this tree in the middle here is not good so i'm gonna have to move that tree in the middle um i'm gonna save it for off camera because i really don't want to mess up the shovel of obstacles but uh yeah as you saw in the beginning of the video our war streak has finally come to an end we had four war streak four in a row but the game knows when you have four in a row, it's going to give you a tough matchup. Yeah, look at this matchup. I guess you can't see, but it was Town Hall 15 and then 14. And we have 14, 14, 13, 12. And their first 12 was down here. So it wasn't even fair. But um, just to end the video here today after that spending spree, let's go into our first attack without the queen in like ages, I want to say. Uh, let's take off the yeah. Let's at, at, assign this guy back to the king, and that's the normal pet allocation that people use. They usually use exactly what I have, exactly what I put right there. Um, but I was doing it swapped around before because uh, I was um, I was doing the, using the recall spell, which kind of like makes you have to flip it around. But uh, what I'm looking for here with the earthquake lightnings is I think it's one earthquake and five lightning take out an inferno. So I kind of want everything closer space together. I could take out this eagle artillery. I'm just going to attack the first guy too, but usually with uh, earthquake and stuff, uh, you can just search around for like a better base. But uh, just for this video, I want to attack the first guy that we see. So then we'll drop the warden. I don't really like using the warden ability early with the dragons. I don't think it's the best idea. I guess I can drop the royal champion in with them because it's just a defense seeking guy. And I will drop the poison on there. So I have two wall breakers and an archer. 
And I kind of have the two wall breakers and archer. I guess there's no point. I should just take an extra balloon, I guess. But uh, I kind of had them in there for when I have the king alive, because he'll need to break through a wall at some point, I'm assuming. And then the archer is just to get that extra percent, because there's not really much I can do right now. I'm just going to use the warden ability, because they were under heavy fire, about to go under the town hall there. Uh, this looks like it's going to be a one star, but I have this archer here to pick off one extra building. So, yeah, we got that guy. And we took out the eagle with the earthquake lightning spells. Eagle and one air defense, which now that I think about it, or you got one air defense and an inferno wasn't really worth it because that inferno wouldn't have been attacking my dragons anyway so we should have probably attacked from that side but then i think we would have for sure not gotten the town hall which we're not going to get anyway i guess um yeah i'm still kind of learning with this strategy because i've been using e-drag queen walk for a very long time but i do actually like last time when i played with dragons i uh i was kind of failing and stuff with it because I was not using, I wasn't fully committing to using lightning and earthquake. I was only using like four, like one lightning or one earthquake and three lightning. And it just like wasn't working well because uh, like I, could, I couldn't get as much value. But with this, it works pretty well because you can take out the eagle. And if there's something next to the eagle, which like 90% of the time there is, you can take that out too. And there happen to be two things there. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with the royal champion. I just kind of drop her in with everything. But uh, I didn't have any clan castle freezes. I should have brought some because I can always just donate them to myself from my second account. But uh, yeah, it looks like this attack's gonna wrap up here at 57%. The archer's gonna die to this guy. But I might take out the two wall breakers and the archer um, and put in a balloon now because I actually don't have anything that relies on getting through a wall. So yeah, in the next army, I'll train it. I'll get rid of the. We'll put an extra balloon. I feel like eight balloons, 13 dragons. I also want to play around with the dragon rider and everything because he is maxed out and he attacks defenses as a dragon. But um, yeah, that's it for the video today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.